Oh fuck. Oh, that was fucked. Oh, what the fuck? Who the fuck put those there? The fuck? Who puts dumbbells just fucking in the middle of the fucking hallway? All right. Where the fuck are you gonna put them? This is the third freaking time this happens. Like, my dumbbells only go up to 35 pounds. I got a set of 20, set of 35. What if I wanna go to 50? I'm gonna have 40, 45, 50. What are we gonna put them on the stairs? Wait a minute. I got an idea. Okay, so right off the bat, I want to make something very clear. I never trip over my dumbbells, okay? The point I was trying to make is that, like, as you get different sets of dumbbells, they take up a lot of space. Um, mine are kind of out in the open, but definitely not where the doors are. Like, I don't leave them there. Nobody leaves them there. I don't trip on them. Now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about a couple things, right? You got price, you got convenience, and you got overall, let's say, comfort and just, like, how do I like using them? So first thing I want to talk about is price. These dumbbells, I love them right off the bat. But um, one of the reasons I love them is because they do cost 550 bucks, which initially sounds really bad. I did a little bit of research to look at, you know, how much would it cost if I got like, uh, you know, dumbbells for each of these sizes. Um, this actually lets you go up 0.25 pounds, uh, sorry, 2.5 pounds. So um, basically like you would have to buy five pounds, 7.5 pounds, 10 pounds, and like two sets for each. The point is clear. Um, they're cheaper if you compare them to, you know, buying a bunch of sets. Two, they take less space. Take way less space. These things are friggin' awesome. Okay, like I don't wanna like spend my time showing you how they work. There's plenty of videos that do that, but like to switch the weight, I just like pull out this little thing and like I got this small thing, right? This is, this is 10 pounds. There's this little thing here, pop it open. You pop out these things, five pounds, right? You wanna pop one in, now you got 7.5 pounds. You know, back to 10, done. Put it back in, change your weight. They are the best quarantine dumbbells because they're expandable. So I got the Sport EXP model. Uh, it goes up to 50 pounds per dumbbell, um, but you can upgrade it up to 90 pounds. Okay, now they are expensive and I see them kind of playing around with the pricing of the upgrades. Um, you know, like when I looked at these, they were 600 bucks. They went down to 550. I was like, fantastic. Bought them right away, right? Then I, I bought them. Now I'm already getting stronger and I'm like, okay, let me buy the expansion, right? I look at the expansions and each of the expansions went up 50 bucks. Um, so like, you know, they, they took the price of the dumbbells down and then I guess they're like, oh, we'll upsell them later. It worked a uh, smart idea on their part, unless I guess maybe some people won't get strong enough to ever have to do that. So maybe it's not a smart idea. I'm not sure, but it definitely worked on me. Um, so overall I thought they would be weird, right? You see that weird shape. And I guess one of the questions you're probably asking yourself is like, are they weird to use? Um, like, is there any exercises that like, you know, it's going to look weird or feel weird, whatever it is. And my, like for what I do, which is quite a bit, like I'm, I'm following like, let's say like a YouTuber's workout plan called Jesse James West. And he's doing bench press. He's doing all these things. Uh, I'll put some videos up in a sec of like some of the things I'm doing. Um, you know, I'm doing them all with, with resistance bands and these power bells. I haven't needed a whole gym setup because like these are so... Um, like it, one expandable, but two, just like quick to change the weight on. So like, you're just like, ah, why would I get a barbell? Like, like, don't get me wrong. I would rather have one, but I don't need one. It, it would be like nice to have, right? Um, the one area that I feel like my workouts are not, um, let's say at par with when I go to the gym is legs. Legs is probably, you know, you're definitely gonna be able to do some good squatting with these. Um, but you know, you're, you're, you're still going to miss that leg press and those, 
um, you know, like leg extensions, ha um, not hammer curls, but uh, leg curls, hamstring curls, whatever you want to call them. So you're not going to get any of that with these, right? Resistance bands, you can kind of get away with it. You can, you can do like some variations of like, I, I put them around my ankles and I kind of do leg extensions and, and curls and, and it works, but it's not as good, right? So legs, you're still going to suffer a bit. Um, I can make videos on like how I'm doing the exercises at home and it's getting the job done. But with these power blocks, um, like bicep, chest, delts, back, all shoulders, everything, uh, I'm hitting them and I'm getting great pumps just like I would at the gym. So that's fantastic. You can, you can really kill it with these things. So let me uh, roll some videos that, you know, like show some of the exercises I've been doing with them. Yeah, I see it. Zoom, get a nice zoom in. Oh, oh yeah, those veins. The next question I want to address is, do you go with the Sport EXP model or do you go with the, I don't even know what it's called model, the, the higher end model, right? Um, and you know, I, I had that same question. I did go see them in person. I was lucky enough to be able to see them in person. You guys may not be able to. They were about 150 bucks more expensive. They go up to the same weight. Um, and that's why I didn't get them. I, I was I lucky enough that I would have been able to afford them, although I wouldn't have felt felt good about it. I didn't even want to buy these. I would have loved for gyms to just be open and you know not need them, but I needed them. So I bought them. I don't regret going with this model. I know they have like the sports that go up to 50 that you can't expand. These are the EXP that the EXP stands for expandable and the other ones that I was looking at um, were also expandable uh, maybe they're just called power block EXP I'm not really sure but it's kind of like the premium version right they're they're all in black um, there's kind of like a plastic coating I'm not sure that it's plastic but like they look nicer they feel nicer um, there's like less of a wiggle when you're holding them so like here I can even show you um, and like, I thought this would bother me, right? I was a little bit nervous about it, but I took, I took the gamble anyways. When you like pick it up, right? From the handle, there is like a little bit of wiggle on these, these pieces right here. They wiggle a little. You don't get that with standard dumbbells. So that's kind of the reason I mentioned it. There's a little wiggle and I was just like, is that going to throw me off when I'm lifting? Um, and the truth is you do need to learn how to trust these things. Um, it took me 10 minutes though. So like I had to like, just use them a bit, start light, make sure that like, I was like, Oh, is this plastic piece going to pop off? And then they're going to fall on me. Like I, these are major concerns I had at the beginning. They're gone completely. So like right now I'm using them as if I was at the gym, they do scratch, but I don't care. This is not something that I'm showing off to people. This is just something to get me, um, you know, jacked as F. Um, so that's something else to keep in mind. If you're someone who's like, oh, I don't want it to scratch, don't get these, but keep in mind they're dumbbells. Uh, so who cares? Um, but if you do care and if you have that extra money, go for the, the nicer ones, they're going to do you the same thing, but like they do feel a little bit more premium. So, um, you know, if money wasn't, wasn't even the thought, I would definitely go for those, but don't even think about it. If, if your goal is to get jacked and you're like, oh, I didn't really want to buy dumbbells, but because of quarantine, I have to, don't get the more expensive ones. You don't need them. They're not going to give you a better workout and just keep that in mind. So one of the last things I want to talk about is why I didn't go for, let's say the Bowflex or any other competitors. Um, what I really love about the power blocks that you don't get with all of them, there are some that have this feature, is just how fast you can change and that you can go in increments of 2.5 pounds. Now, what's kind of annoying is you can't go between like, let's say five and zero. So I'll explain that again. This thing, if you take out, you know, the small things, this becomes five pounds. Uh, you can't get it down to 2.5.
So that means I can't do 12.5, I can't do 22.5, I can't do 32.5. I can do 37.5, which is nice to have that option. And a lot of dumbbells don't have that option. They just go up in increments of five. I've taken advantage of it too. Um, even when I get, let's say, completely destroyed and my shoulders are toast, I take the 2.5s and, and I just go. It, like, it gives me that flexibility that I never had. So I really like that. Um, what's cool too, expandable, uh, that's not really very common. With the Bowflex that I was looking at in a similar price range, they were not expandable. That just kind of took them off. Uh, they were not even an option at that point. Um, but also what I like is that as you go down in weight, you're not picking up the full device. So what I mean is like, let's say you're taking 10 pounds, you're just taking this guy. Um, if you want to take 20 pounds, then you're going to add a little part to it and you're going to take this. And if you want to go up to 30, then, you know, you're going to take even more. You're going to go like this, you know? So you got two plates. I like that. There are some other ones that like, you have to take the whole device and the plates go on the device. So like the dumbbells this wide and you put the plates on it. So even if let's say you take off 10, you still have this big, this big, I was going to say big ass. I guess I said it now. You got this big chunky dumbbell and there's just nothing you could do about it. Um, I don't really like that. I, I would prefer to have a device that's sturdy instead of like this long one that like doesn't really have much weight to it and it looks like it does, but it doesn't. I don't know. Just something to keep in mind. I know I spoke a lot about the positives, so let me give you the small negatives that I've personally experienced with these things. And it's just like certain exercises kind of work well with a dumbbell that has a groove. If you look at these, right, they're kind of wider on the outsides and smaller on the inside. So you can grab it and go on. The power blocks have this like big thing around it. So like what's what's interesting is like if let's say you're going down, you can you can take this and rest it on your shoulder because it's got this right. My point here is just like, is there certain exercises that may be more comfortable, um, you know, doing with other dumbbells? Yeah, there's probably a couple, but I don't do any like I, I'm nitpicking. Like I said, I don't want to sound like these are amazing, but they really are. I guess look at your routine before you buy them, maybe. And then choose the ones that are, but fuck that. Actually, no, just buy them. They're fucking great. Um, I have, like my godson tried them, bought them right away after. Uh, he loves them. My girlfriend was like, everyone picks them up initially and they're like, oh, they're, they're a little bit weird, eh? But like, then they just, they end up lo loving them. Like within 10 minutes, it's that quick that you get used to them. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like I'm really trying to get going on um, YouTube in general, and I'm, I'm literally trying to like go hard. I work six days a week as a director of operations. So like my schedule is super packed and I'm trying to train an hour and a half every day, but I'm still making time for YouTube because I really want to like share my process and, you know, like share my experiences as I go through life. So if it's something that you care about, or if you want to shoot me a little subscribe, subscribe, like, like sandwich, whatever you want. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. I'm just putting it out there.